welcome back. Today is Sunday and we are running a race today, which I am actually really nervous for because I first of all have never run this distance before and I have also just not really been on my running grind recently, so I'm very nervous, but hopefully we can do it and the goal is not really to run fast at this point. The goal is to just finish and Jop and I are actually running it together, which is really nice. We're not actually running together. I think we'll start together for like the first kilometer and then Jop is probably going to do it much faster than me, so then we'll split up. But I'm really excited because it's like the first time we're actually doing like a very big running event and ugh, as you can tell I'm very nervous but I'm just gonna take you guys along and we'll see how this day goes. Right now we're still at home getting all of our things together and just preparing for the race and then we're gonna leave and go to Amsterdam. It's Monday morning right now and I just made a very simple iced coffee to wake me up and I just really needed a coffee But I wanted to catch up with you guys a little bit about yesterday and about the race. Let me get the medal Honestly, I'm debating to just wear this to work today. I'm honestly so happy with it It was just a really good experience because the atmosphere of this race is just really good The race is called the Dams Damlo, which is a 16.1 kilometer run from Amsterdam to Sandom During the whole race, there's so much music and everyone's just hyping each other up. You run past a lot of houses and there's so many people outside so many people handing out water and fruit and sponges because it was really warm and I honestly feel really bad because the last two I think starting blocks couldn't start because it was just simply too warm and a lot of people ended up needing medical help which is why they didn't let the last two groups start because they just didn't know if the other people also started if they had enough medical staff to help all of those people. But it was really warm and I did see a lot of people actually needing an ambulance so that was honestly really hard to see but I was able to run it and I'm honestly so happy I did because the experience was just really nice. All of the music and just all of the people, it was so good. The run itself, medium because I was just really unprepared for this. When I signed up for this race, I was really excited and I was gonna follow a whole training schedule and I was really, really excited to train. But in the end, in the month of August and September, I ran about four times, which is not a lot. My training just did not go as planned because after our summer holiday, it was just really hard to get back into running and I got sick a few times, which is why I couldn't run and I had a lot of handball practice, which is still good for like my running condition and stuff, but I didn't actually run, which I was really stressed about so I was really nervous for this run also because I had never run 16 kilometers before so we started off and I ran the first two kilometers with Diop which was really nice but then he started speeding off and at first for a second I was like I can just follow him with his speed because I kind of knew I could do that but then also I was like I haven't run in a while so maybe I should just slow down at first and then maybe later on I can still do some speed but around eight kilometers my left foot started hurting so bad I've never had my foot hurt that bad it was just really annoying because I also just didn't know where the pain was coming from. It was like underneath my foot. So just before 10 kilometers, I stopped for like 20 seconds and I texted my mom. I was like, mom, I'm in so much pain because my mom came with us for support. So I texted her and then I was like, I need to continue now because if I stop for too long, I will mentally not be able to finish. I felt like, I was like, that's gonna be so rough if I just don't keep going. So I continued and the pain didn't stop, but I didn't feel like the pain was something that could be dangerous. I don't know if that's a really smart thing of me to do, but I continued. And then between like 12 and 14, you're on honestly the most boring part of the run because there's like no support and it was just really rough. So I stopped one more time 
to tie my shoe again because I thought maybe my shoe is too loose or too tight. I don't know. But as I did that, this guy ran past me and he was like, come on, keep going. And I was like, okay. So I just started running again. And then around 14, they had another water stop and they also had this like sports drink. So I stopped one more time to just drink the sports drink and then continue. And then I was like, I'm not that tired. Well, I was tired, obviously, but I was like, I can just sprint this thing out. So from about 14 to 16, I just started sprinting and I was actually really fast. I finished in an hour and 41 minutes. I am really proud because before the race, I didn't even know if I would be able to run 16 kilometers and finish it at all. So I am really proud, but the perfectionist in me is like, I could have done it better if my foot didn't hurt. But when I went to bed, I saw that I had a blister underneath my foot. So that kind of explains it a little bit. But I've never had blisters in my running shoes which is really annoying but I feel like it's just a combination of the heat and just not running a lot recently and then suddenly running 16 kilometers but something in me is like I could have run it faster and I hate to be like that because obviously this is still really good and I'm really proud but in the end it might be good that I didn't run faster because of like the heat and everything but you know that's something for the next race because I did actually really like it it was really fun to do something like this so I definitely want to continue but September is always a really busy month so from October I want to actually start following like an actual training schedule again and actually stick to it so I can actually perform better but it was really good and I'm gonna enjoy this for a while and yeah it was really fun we went for a coffee afterwards well actually I did get a matcha but we went on a little coffee date at one of my favorite cafes and then we got a poke bowl for dinner and we went home and we still had a beer now it's Monday morning and we have to go to work it's a little past 9 a.m. so I'm gonna go grab all of my food because I do want to focus on getting in a lot of protein today because of like muscle recovery and I just want to recover good because my muscle pain as of now is not that bad and I feel like it's also helpful that we still walked quite a bit after the run yesterday. So I feel like that maybe helped. And now I'm going to cycle to work and just try to eat and drink a lot of protein. And yeah, I feel like the recovery should be good then. Let's go to work. because I have a shoot for work today and we're basically doing like a branding shoot for our own agency so I needed a few different outfits that I can wear myself I'm getting my camera ready my laptop and just everything that I need for work and then I'm gonna head into the office and I'm honestly really excited for the shoot I'm very curious to see if our Pinterest boards actually will live up to the actual photos that we get that's the plan for today and I'll basically be in the studio most of the day and last night we went to Ikea and it was so fun and we actually got so many things that I'm really excited about I've talked about this in a video recently that I feel like we've both kind of changed over the past year and there's just a few things in our house that just don't resonate with us that much anymore and I feel like last night we kind of really set a step into the right direction because we actually got things that I feel like are gonna make our house like a little bit more cozy especially for the fall winter season and I'm really excited we also found this carpet in Ikea and we kind of been wanting to get a carpet but we didn't really know what we wanted to get and we both saw this one and we were like oh that is actually really cool and my mom might be going back to Ikea next week to get us a few things that weren't in stock that we needed now and I think we're gonna ask her to also bring the carpet and just try and see how it looks in our living room and I'm just really excited to see all of these changes and we got the cutest cutest side table for a new coffee corner and I'm so excited so maybe one day we'll actually get our dream coffee machine but at least we're upgrading the coffee corner right now so if we get our dream coffee machine it will be ready and yeah I'm just really excited so now I'm gonna pack my last things and my food for today and then I'm gonna head into the office I'm currently 
birthday party and after that we have this party in my town because this is like a very party weekend in my town I guess is what you could call it which is really fun but for some reason with this vlog I'm pretty sure that I didn't really record a lot for some reason I can't really find my groove with vlogging at the moment so I just really have to find my way to get back into probably just attempt to vlog a lot more within the next couple of weeks to just get back into the flow if there's any videos that you want to see from me please let me know because I would love to hear your recommendations on things that I could make and yeah I just worked all day and we also just cleaned a lot of things in the house and kind of got started on our Ikea finds of this week and honestly I really like what we bought but as I said not everything was in stock so we're gonna get the other things next week and then I'll probably show it in a different video like what the end results are and how it looks now but I feel like it's gonna be a lot more cozy which I'm so excited for in the winter time and yeah now I am ready so that's also what I want to end this video with I really hope you liked it and I guess I'll see you in the next one bye bye